and we're on are we on yes we're on welcome everyone to another video this is the first video in a new series i'm starting and that's nostalgia game series where i play game, old games that i spend like my childhood on and uh, and like i would love to replay the campaign and revisit them because i either don't remember much of it or maybe i never was able to finish them in my childhood growing up so yeah and you might wonder why you see all this desktop with the infinite uh, obs screen thing set up it's right here and that's because I really struggled to get this game working on Windows 10 with all the I needed all the patches and user mods and visual improvements and the only way to make it uh, like recordable is to record the entire sc uh, screen and then uh, play the game inside it so yeah let's get started and today's game will be the nations one of my favorite old games and it brings so many memories and i decided to play it now i forgot most of it but uh, hoping hoping like i remember and we're gonna play the campaign for the gold edition i still haven't uh, played the gold edition i played the original one i don't know when the all gold edition was released so yeah first thing first this awesome menu where you have mr peon looking at the mouse button wherever it goes and that was like this game came up in 2001 and this was like whoa he can follow the mouse hooray i was so happy with it also one more like easter egg if you press f i guess yes sorry for the sounds but this is uh you'll see this is a fly and this game is mr peon versus the fly so the fly will start going and he'll try to hit them. You don't do anything, you just watch him. So, so yeah. Three for the fly, two for Mr. Peon. And yes, I watched it one time until it reaches 999 uh, for Mr. Peon. And at the end he kept hitting but it went back to zero. So that's what happened. Anyway, so we're gonna be playing the Gold Edition campaign and I'm going to explain a bit in the game while I play. Uh, it's not a tutorial, it's a let's play for the campaign. And uh, and yeah, let's first show the intros. So there are two intros, one for the original game, one for the uh, Gold Edition and we will watch both because they, they are awesome. So yeah. By the way, today's shout out is for dark chocolate with almond in it. So this. Marlene as Amazon Princess. Rockroach as Sajiki Warrior. The Diana Sisters Caddy as girl number one. <laughs> Remember, this game came out in 2001, so just like 20 years ago, exactly. In a lonely castle. Hmm. 
there will be some graphical glitches because uh, like it's not fully compatible with modern devices but uh, I think we'll be we'll be fine so the uh, the idea of the game it's a bit like a colony simulation slash strategy where you don't directly control the units where you put stuff to be built and the units will build them and you have to manage your citizens happiness make sure they get everything Ooh, sexy make sure they get everything they need and it's basically there's three different faction the peons the one you see here the amazonians which are the female humans and the kajiti who are the those ones the, the insects <laughs> Yeah. Success, our hero defeated the enemies. Now go and fight. You're ready. <laughs> and this game has way more management and colony simulation than combat. So. Oh shit. Uh, not me. <laughs> Oops, I didn't press anything. Oh well. You just see him, the peon running away and the uh, Amazonian and Kajiti chasing him. That's cool. Now this I haven't seen yet. This is new. Also, Joe Wood, this uh, gaming company, did The Neighbor From Hell, which is also one of my favorite games. And uh, I might play it later for nostalgia. But right now I have this, this whole campaign for the nations and the campaign for uh, Impossible Creatures, another awesome game that I played with. Mm. The Kajiti warrior is carrying peon to make peons. Saved by the boots. Are those her mess boots? Okay, so we've seen the both intros, 
Let's get into the game. Mm -hmm. Nice music. Alright, single player. Um, gold campaigns. There's the peons, the Amazonians, and the Kajitis. So let's start with the first one. Peons. Pimans, sorry, I was saying peons. I was afraid into Warcraft. The Pimans Gold Edition. We're right behind you. So, Pimans declare it's dangerous out there. Twice. <laughs> Sent forth by the Mork of the Modest to build a village capable of producing leisure resources for the greater Murloc tribe. Piman Prince Granak is a bit disappointed to see his Pimans mindlessly drifting back to their usual gluttony. Slash and slash and. This is supposed to be enter. Like slash n when you're programming, if you put slash n in a string, it goes down. It's like pressing enter. Of more immediate concern, however, is the fact that the area that Granak has been ordered order to colonize is both teeming with wolves and prone to bandit attacks. Knowing the Piman psyche as he does, Granak hopes the threat will all actually motivate his lethargic workers to take action, although not to the extent that they decide to pack their bags and head home. So our mission goal is to, despite local threats, produce 100 board, 50 steel and 10 gold. So we need to produce this. Well, let's get going. Hopefully everything works. Yeah, awesome. So you can see here, this is our village. And we have some building we can start building. So first thing I'm gonna be, I'm gonna place a, a dwelling here. So dwellings are uh, like uh, houses that can hold two families. A family is usually a worker with his wife and kids. So here I am. This is me, the king, North King, well, who is watching over the town and basically being useless like every king. And uh, my pimans and citizens just go around doing their own things and I need to manage them. So as you see here, I placed this build to uh, this uh, blueprint to build. I have my carrier who will be delivering 10 wood and 5 stone. I need 10 wood and 5 stone to build this and my four men will be building it, uh, building this house. I will first play on uh, on slow, on 1x, just to explain everything and then I will bump it up, bump up the speed so we move faster. And as you see him now, he start building because we have all the wood and stone needed. This is my tavern. Tavern is usually ran by a, uh, by a woman because as you know, women and kitchen, insert some random joke here. And uh, the it's a landlord. Ah, no, 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 no. The, it's actually ran by a man. Is he a man? Well, it's, it's an ambiguous citizen with a skirt and lots of makeup. So the landlord will take care of a tavern. Tavern will be filled with water and food and uh, like payments at 12 a.m so here we have day one 9 15 at 12 p.m they will all go to the tavern and they will need to drink and to have food so i need to make sure there is enough drink and food to satisfy all my payments in the day so as you see now i have 20 water which is i think enough i have eight fish and two uh, fruit so uh, around 10 meals uh, I don't know how many payments I have. I forgot where I can look. I think in the statistics. Uh, yeah, here. Uh, so each payment, each citizen will have here a happiness. So I slept well. It's a plus 7% happiness, which is his motivation. Yeah, I need to keep, keep his mot their motivation high because low motivation will lead to bad things. I have kids that are completely useless, like every kids, uh, and but they are growing up. Once they become teenager, I can build school and uh, train them. So right now I have six teenager on train that I can train them into doing stuff. So let's train them. My goal is to collect uh, board steel. I think. Let me. What was my goal? Can I? 
How do you check the gold's objectives? Uh, actually, I forgot. Is it here? Yeah. Build a town with 10 family and research for. Oh, no, no. This is for the second age. Where are my golds? Oh, here they are. Get 100 times board, get 50 times steel and gold. We'll need a lot of boards, so what we'll do, we'll go to the school and we'll train, train two lumberjacks. And uh, I think they will need places to stay. So let me check, just remember. Okay, so I have... How many families do I have? I have seven families. And how many buildings do I have? No, not building. Uh, I forgot where you see all of this. So here's the happiness. I have seven total families and they are all happy. Let me build uh, two more dwellings. Just in case I don't have enough. And as you can see, the lumberjacks. This is my uh, stone mason. The stone mason will go and like get me stones. And my lumber, the carrier, only thing they can do is carry stuff. And uh, the stone, the lumberjack will cut down trees. I can prioritize what trees. The women will just be doing cores and picking up fruits so the women will pick up fruit to to make sure my tavern is complete so now i have only seven families so i just need seven meals which is more than enough i'm gonna be training uh, one more carrier and let's get a fisherman also i already have one fisherman here he's fishing for food but i can do another let's to pump up my food production so here's another fisher hut let's put him here because here we have some as you can see we have some uh, fish there's 15 fish here and 15 other one here so let's see our notification due to reset and fluctuation on the stock exchange this follows as uh, a load of appeasing waffle a about some of the stock's complicated trade regulation which are sure to be of no interest to anyone other than the stocks. And this is why it's impossible for us to supply this area with boards, iron, steel and gold. We're very sorry about this uh, but hope you will understand our position. So this is why I have to do that. Oh mighty Pim, the flying salesman can deliver the very goods we need so urgently but if Pimen knows how to help himself, <laughs> themselves. I'm sure that we can uh, get hold of the boards, the steel and the gold without having to accept help from others. A friend of a friend of my cousin twice removed, removed sneeze <laughs> told me that there are steel and gold deposits in this area. But he doesn't know exactly where. This is only known to his sister-in-law's friends, nephew and nobody knows where he is. We require the service of his scout who can reconnoiter the island by whatever. So Dig has finished the training. A Dig carrier has found a new home, Dil. A couple has been married and two children were born. Nice. So let's build some more stuff. I'm gonna build a science lab so I can start do science. Let's put it here. Science require gold. So we'll see how we're gonna need some gold. I have the well. I have well give me 20 water per day. I have enough for now. I don't need more tavern. I can I will build some roads in order to speed things up. So let's let's do road to the tavern, like from the tavern to my like, quarry. Uh, I can go like this. Oh. How do you rotate? Let me check if... Uh, I don't know how to rotate the camera. I can't. Help. I maybe can, but I don't know how. So I'm gonna build the road like this to here. I'm gonna build the road 
Oops. What happened? Ah, I don't have any more stone. Okay, let's train some stone masons. Two stone masons. So this is, you can see the thunder on top of his head, so something is happening. I have no workspace and I have no home. Oh wow. So his home is still being built. I will prioritize him and I need to prioritize his workspace so he doesn't get angry. A child is now ready for training. Let's train in the lumberjacking. Dwelling. I will mostly focus on getting wood and gold uh, in this because this is our first uh, I think the first mission is just easy just to introduce you something Frank Fisherman has now found a new home so now he should be happy so this as you can see this home is now this Frank has no work he's, he's sad because he has no work I'm building your work hold on oh I need boards for it oh. shit I don't have boards so I, he will have, he has no work and he will be very pissed for not having work and I can't I, I messed up I shouldn't have trained the fishermen I forgot what they need but whatever uh, okay I need my the science lab to be up very fast and yeah and this is as you see the carriers and everything is stored in the town hall but later we can build some more warehouses. So I still have only 15 family, which is cool. I will speed things up to get things done. So this I will remove the priority, otherwise they will just stay on top of it for hours. I will need to train another foreman, but I don't have yet uh, children to train. Womp, stone masons. Stone mason found a new home. A couple has married. Two children were born. Pimp, stone mason has been. And a lumberjack. So I only have one stone mason. I like to have multiple ones so I can get building pretty quickly. Yeah, next uh, next one I will have. I will build a stone mason. Uh, a foreman, I mean. Foreman build stuff. how many stone I have 26 stones I am gonna construct some roads to make things a bit faster like because peons works work on road uh, walk on roads way faster okay my lab is almost complete okay my lab is complete uh, as we can't get hold of any gold, I have asked the researcher in the area if they would be prepared to accept another form of payment. Because usually researcher requires gold. They said that they would be prepared to work for mushroom juice. It would therefore be a good idea to boil a small supply of mushroom juice for the salmon. Okay, so, so my scientist, you can see here, this is a scientist who applied. Uh, he's a bachelor, so not very fast in sciencing, which is fine. But he accepted to uh, work for mushroom juice. So his fee is two mushroom juice to get started, and he needs two mushroom juice every day. So for that, since I don't have any mushroom juice factory, I will go and do some trading. So here I have multiple ways of trading. I can trade with the flying merchant, or I can trade with other players. So here what I need, I will say I want mushroom juice and I will see how much I can trade them. Now since there are no other players on this maps or others or I still haven't met them, I, I can only trade with the flying merchant. Let me just uh, do it slowly. So the flying merchant, he is com a complete steal. He takes a lot for a bit, but I have no other choice. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna buy like around, let's see, I'm gonna buy uh, 40 mushroom juice for 32 wood and I'm gonna buy 
uh, let's see how many mushroom juice. Ten mushroom juice for stone because that's are the only two. Well, I can trade fish, but I prefer to leave fish for a bit. So twenty-three stone for ten mushroom juice. Now I, I put this offer. Sometimes there are more other players that will accept my offer, but if they don't, I can just use the flying merchant for both. And let's see, I will hire you in a bit. The flying merchant accepted my offer. I can remove all those notifications, but I will leave them open for a bit. So everyone is very happy except one person which is the fisherman because he has no workspace and he's really getting angry because it's like day two and 25 percent so the flying merchant is like a kiro and uh, it all he always scares the fuck out of me when i see him coming it's like oh no a kiro came and i still don't have my rocketeers up so so yeah, <laughs> yeah so so now that I have, uh, I can, you can see here in my inventory, where's my inventory, it should be around, uh, where's my inventory, here, here, yeah, I have 24 mushroom juice, so I can hire scientists, so I go to the lab, how do you hire a scientist, uh, how do I hire a scientist? I don't know how to, I forgot. Wait, let me slow this up. How do you hire scientist? No researcher. I know. Let me hire researchers. I have people to train. I will train a foreman and a carrier. Oh, I have more people to train. So lumberjack, stone mason. So the thing here, if you keep training kids as soon as they grow up, they will make family quickly, so uh, so if you don't want to uh, your population to go out of control, maybe I should have waited a bit before training kids. But yeah, uh, let me stop his training. Leave him out of job, but I need to get a scientist. How do I get a scientist? Record, no. Uh... My reputation is poor. Citizens, teenagers. Oh, here it is, scientists. There are two scientists, so let's hire Kim. Welcome, Kim. So now I can start doing science. First science I wanna do, I wanna do a carpentry. Carpentry allows me to build boards to finish my fisherman hunt, and I need boards for my uh, my thing my uh, what do you say my quest so I will speed things up to four I will not I have two people to train that's fine I will build them in carpentry so yeah and lives go on in Dwight Town I call this Dwight Town. So where's my science? It's getting... It's slow because he's just a bachelor. Okay, so here we are. We have an inferno notification. Your inns are too overcrowded. So now I, ha I now have more people who wants to eat than my inn can handle. So let me build another inn. Uh, here's a tavern or inn. I will build it here. I only You have to separate your inns a bit because if you build them right next to each other, People will just like if they are coming from down, they will just go in the first in they they see. Even if it's full, they will keep going in. They are completely stupid. So yeah, let me hire the priority on this, and I need to train a landlord in order to take care of my new inn. So my carpentry is done, and I'm going to start a new research. Uh, let's see, what do I want to research? I'm going to research. I can research hunting, is there lots of animals? Yeah, there are animals. Yeah, let's research hunting so I can have some hunters for some extra food. And I'm going to build two, one, uh, actually two carpentry. So here are the carpentry. I will build them. Where do I want to build them? Here. 
Uh, I will not manage my base on the first mission, maybe later. But, so, yeah, one here. And another right next to it. And let me build some road leading to them. I can't. Okay. Weird. Okay. So here's a good road. Come on, build my carpentry. I need more foremans. This guy, what? He has no house. Oh wow, he has no home to sleep in. So he will sleep in town hall, but he uh, will be really angry. So let's build some homes. So one, two, three homes. The evolution stage limit has reached. You can only build 20 buildings in stage one. Oh fuck. I didn't know this existed, this wasn't in the non-gold edition. Let me speed things up. So I will put uh, taverns on high priority so my carrier will deliver food and uh, water efficiently. So my science is done on the hunting. Let me do more science. Uh, I don't need army for this mission. I'm going to build dwelling level level two dwelling, which allow me to host four families inside. Okay, my carpentry are being built. Uh, this landlord has found a job. He has no home, so I need to. And the fishermen still have no home. Yeah, okay, the first carpentry is almost done. Come on. Nice, it's done. And I can start uh, doing boards. I need boards to build my fishermen hut. So, so my fishermen can find a job and get some motivation. Uh, it's, I, it's, uh, He's getting fine meal and he's sleeping well, so it's not very dangerous yet, but later if he finds no job, it's very, very bad if, on the long run. He will go, like, becomes a criminal or something. So, I have two children to train. Uh, I'm gonna train uh, another carpenter for my second carpentry, and I'm going to train a... Let's see, what do I want to train? I want to train a lumberjack. Let's pump up this iron production. Yeah, you can say this is the, the ancestor of Factorio <laughs> in a slightly different way. Or, the, or all the colony simulation stuff. We still have no high house. This is bad. Because not only she doesn't get the bonus from sleeping, she also gets a negative from not having a house. Let me speed things up. Come on, come on my foreman, build this house. My tavern, there's enough food here and this one doesn't have food. Wow. Come on carriers, I need more carriers. Yeah, I will train some more carriers. Wait, turn on. Here we go. Okay, and now since I have two cavern uh, taverns, and each tavern requires 50 water per day, I only have one well, which uh, provides me 15 wa 15 waters per day. I need to build another well. However, in order to build more items, I need to go to level two. So I'm fucked. Well, I can always trade for more water. How many? How much water I have? I have 31 water, which is fine for now. Damn, eight children has been born. Yeah, I, I, I completely overpopulated my village already, but that's fine. That's fine. We'll handle it. So, schools, how it's going? My carpentry is up. 
Uh, come on, let's build this fisherman's hut. Anyone doesn't have a house? Let's see the statistics. Where are my statistics? Uh, here? No. Here. Okay, so everyone is happy and or satisfied. That's nice. This is the night. And everyone wakes up. Anyone without a home? Yes, I have three people without houses, but I'm building houses. Now that dwelling dwelling has been built for four families, what I can start doing that I can cancel this. So let me cancel it. I will instead build a four family dwelling. That way I re I can gain like one more uh, house slot per se. I will also demolish this building. Yes and build another poor family dwelling instead don't worry don't worry we will you will get a house so my science is done and i'm going to what do i want to no. let's do uh warehouses no i don't need the warehouses Let's do markets. Now markets are luxuries. So if I build a market, I can put inside them luxuries like like baguettes or other stuff if I remember correctly. And my payments will go get luxuries for extra happiness. Now in stage one, I do not need luxuries. But when I move to stage two or the second, uh, second if you want to call it uh, era, uh, they will start requiring, uh, requiring luxuries and getting mad if they don't get it. Now uh, I don't. I won't focus on luxuries on this mission. I'll just focus on getting my my quest done and be done with it. Uh, I'm fine. I will take the hit on the dissatisfaction they will get for not getting luxuries, uh, luxury item. But yeah, it's it's fine. It's fine at stage one. But if I go to stage two uh, or stage three and I do not have luxury item, they will really get pissed off because the more they evolve the more people require useless shit. Oh yeah. My tavern are full, which is great. My houses are being built. There's my fisherman finally found work. You can see here I have found a workplace and he's happy about it. And uh, yeah, things are great in White Town. Anyone mad? Nope. So now I watch them do their thing. Can I train anyone? Not yet. I need a lot more carrier. My carpentry are carpenting. Right, the lumberjack found a house. Everyone found a new house, especially with those big dwellings that I built. Anyone still require houses? Yes. A lumberjack, his wife, and two of his babies are homeless right now. As you can see now, it's lunch time, so everyone goes to lunch. Uh, this one has 6 out of 15 guests with 9 food and water left. Hopefully everyone will get food. This one is getting a bit overcrowded. 15 people are going into it. This one only 6 are going into it. So I need to build another one in between so I can divide the load and load balance. All children requires uh, training so I'm gonna do 2 carriers and a hunter and let's do another carpenter because my carpentry are not, uh, not handling the, the uh, requirement i will demolish this dwelling yes and this dwelling and build instead one dwelling for four family so here and this will allow me to build another carpentry right next here for my carpenter. Come on, get to work, get to work. Exasot. Now, let me see the requirement. Oh, I can go to level two right now, a stage, so I can build more houses and do more advanced researches, but not yet. Let me first build a witch doctor's hut finish researching everything and then I will go 
So, I need to explore a bit. Now, the thing in exploring in this game, you can directly affect the exploration until you get to the army stage where you have a soldier that you can move around. So, in order to explore a bit more, you have to prioritize. For example, I prioritize this tree. This means my lumberjack will have to come to this tree to chop it off. And that means he will open a bit of the fog of war down here in order for me to see. Well, it's been so long since I played this game, like around 15 years at least, before even my university. I love it, I love it. So, yeah. Okay, this is doing his research. I'm building a home here. My fishermen are fishing happily. I'm getting more and more items that I can trade. I'm running a bit low on mushroom juice, but it's fine for now. Okay, let me just for the notification. Uh, I'll just set it to show most of the notification instead of show all. And here there's a wolf. Wolf can attack me. I need the hunters. As soon as I open this, wolf will be able to attack me. So let me train a bit more hunters. I can't right now. So yeah, and by the way, this is the highest resolution I can get to. So uh, it's not really full HD, but it's, it's an old game. Also the music. I hope you you have been listening to the music. I, I haven't been praising it a lot. But yeah, awesome music. Okay, research done. I think I'm gonna go to the next stage. Uh, first, you are in the first evolutionary stage. You can go to the next evolutionary stage because I did the requirement, which is to build a town with ten family and research five invasion. So here comes the second stage. The second evolutionary stage open new possibility. I can build forty-five building and build up to two castles with eight towers. Castles and towers are for fighting and research new invention. Uh, but now my my payments will require new inventions, a new luxury, which are soap and pastry. So I need to build a market and make sure they are supplied with soap and pastry. Now the problem is, as I said, it's not a problem. I will not do that right now. I will focus on production. They will get sad a bit, but it's fine. Once this goes out of control, I might build it. But they won't. Uh, they won't go very sad because I think they only lose. 7% if they don't get their uh, luxury and but they can regain it while sleeping and working and all of this your citizen get this luxury item at the marketplace carriers bring goods to the marketplace additionally unhappy citizens can become criminals and the gods will become displeased when your citizen do not pray enough oh i need to build temples also yes right to go to the second evolution style cake on the green okay Let's go to the second evolutionary stage. Now I have another bachelor who applied to be a scientist, but I don't need it. Uh, I, I only need like one, one lab. Uh, first thing first, I'm going to build, uh, to research a temple. Okay, in order for them to pray. And I'm going to build a second well. Why can't I build a well? Uh, here's the well. This is my second well, in order because I'm running a bit out of water. Now I have people to train. I'm gonna train one hunter. I'm gonna pray a train. Uh, not a witch doctor. I'm gonna pray one carrier. Actually, two carriers. Now my carpentry, as you see, is pumping up. Now that I have three, I have 42 boards, which is pretty cool. I'm gonna build dwellings for my new families a dwelling here and and another dwelling right next to it okay i'm on a small island i need to go explore up there but i'm waiting for my hunters to, tra to train because there will be wolves up there and i don't want my wolves attacking my uh, my citizens so once they are i will send my hunter to kill them i will wait a bit before training those children and let's build, let's train, oh, let's train a landlord and build another in uh, tavern. Alright. So let's look at what's, what's the matter with this guy? 
I have no home. Okay, you'll have home. So I have some fruit, some meat, I, and some fish. I have lots of fish because of my two fishermen, which is pretty cool. Uh, but other than that, for children, not now. Let's see. Uh, my research is going. I can build another research, but I, I don't want to spend too much mushroom juice for now. Come on. Uh, let's train another foreman because like building is going really slow how's my happiness uh, my happiness yeah I have pretty good happiness now they will all go to eat so this this tavern is pretty well this tavern is doing pretty well Everyone goes to eat, I will speed things up. Come on, let's see how am I doing on my objectives. Else I keep forgetting. Here they are. I need 100 board, 50 steel and 10, 10 gold. Now I need to check where I can find gold. To find gold I need to find a quarry somewhere. So let's, let's go find the quarry. Research complete. I can build a tire uh, temple, and now let's build a. Yeah, I'm gonna research a wheelbarrow first, and then a quarry. So this is a wheelbarrow. Wheelbarrow allow allows my carrier to carry way more because let let me find a carrier. Uh, here's the carrier. You can see he's carrying it on his back carrying everything on his back so wheelbarrow allow them to move much faster and carry more so that's i have two hunters right now so let me see if i can have them kill this beast no i will tell my stonemason to come and dig out this rock right here so i can open up the map a bit up there there are wolves around but hopefully my hunters will be able to kill them I have two hunters, I don't know if it's enough, but yeah, we'll see. And uh, this is high priority, always the tavern high priority. Look how many kids I have, what the hell what are you doing? Stop breeding. Anyone doesn't have a house? Anyone is homeless? Let's see. No one, no one is sick, and I have four, four teenagers, which is fine. Uh, let's build a temple. So my peons can start praying for the gods and get the road to them. Now this stone will have priority. Let's spin ten things up. Okay, as you can see here, uh, I slept well. I have a fine meal. I didn't get any soap. This is the first luxury that they will be pissed about. It only lose 3% motivation, which is fine. I don't need it right now. And they, it didn't get any past three. That's 5%. In order to get those, I will need to build a market. I will need to build a soap factory. And I will need to build a bakery for the past trees. But I don't want to lose time for it now. Now I put this as a priority, but it looks like they can't reach it right now. So I will put this stone as a priority. And then this stone, and then this stone, so I can cut a road up until there. My stones. Uh, my carpentry is doing very good. Uh, my fish. Oh, my water is not doing good. So let's build another well. And I will need more food. So let's train one more hunter for food. Actually, no, not, not hunter. I need. Uh, one more fisherman, let's train one more fisherman. Because like this island is limited and there's not much animals left. They already killed them all. So let's build a fisher hut, fisherman hut. Right here. How's my science? I think, uh, how's my Okay, my mushroom juice, 18 mushroom juice, that's cool. Come on. 
Let's get this. What? What are you breaking? Why are you breaking this one? I have high priority on this. What the hell? Stop breaking those. Oh well. Okay, I need a priest. So let's train him. The irony that uh, they go to the school to, to be trained as priests. So, yeah. That's education system. What is this? Grace of the God. The Grace of the God has decreased. Because no one paid. Now I have this new scientist which has a master. It will do science much faster. But he takes four uh, mushroom juice. And I don't want that. I'm okay with the bachelor for now. Uh, let's build a quarry or a metallurgy or a quarry here first, so I can get uh, I can get like if I find iron ore or gold ore which I need for the quest, I can find them fast. My wheelbarrow is complete, so. Uh, I need to build some wheelbarrows, so I will. My carpentry is where I build some wheelbarrows. How many carriers do I have? I have eight carriers, so let me build the wheelbarrows for now. I don't need much. Uh, let, I will put two carpentry on wheelbarrows because I don't need any more bo uh, boards for now. So two carpentry will build wheelbarrows, and my uh, carriers will be able to ha get wheelbarrows. Now my fisherman is almost done and my priest is almost done, which is cool. Uh, what do I need now? I need them to finish those. Let's build more. Mm. I will build... Maybe I can break them. Let me see if I build a road here. No, if I build a dwelling. Ah, I kind of cheated, but what? Because I need to to uh, <coughs> see what's up there. Okay, let me see the happiness. Well, they are pretty happy, even though they are not getting their soap and pastry. But this is because I'm still like in the first stage, first era. They don't require many. They are not yet uh, uh, consumerist enough, I'm not yet capitalist enough for them to uh, require some luxury resources yet. They want them, they don't need them, they don't like... You get my point. Anyway, what I'm gonna do to save some space, I'm gonna... Destroy some old dwellings, some two family dwellings and build four family dwellings instead. But faster much more efficient how's my science doing okay i can build more science labs no i keep forgetting that i don't want to so yeah here's the the priest and his uh so i can appease the gods let me see my the gods favor uh i think they g give me reputation if i pray Mm, okay, so let me see what do I have now in my... Okay, I have five, nine, eight teenagers uh, that are ready to be trained. I will wait a bit, I don't want to grow anymore faster because I'm growing way too fast. They will become unemployed and become unhappy, but that's fine. For now, I will uh, give them jobs later. What's the matter here? There was any soap, no pastry, and a wild animal is losing town. There's a wolf in town. There's a wolf in town. Come on, where's my hunter? This is my hunter. Go kill him. Let me slow this down. This is the wolf. Come on, hunter, kill him. Stab him. Nice. Nice. Oh, poor wolf, but you know how it is we must die okay so here it's starting to uh, the, the the fog of war is starting to clear up a bit 
So let me put priority on this tree so the fog of war up there gets cleared up more. My science is done. What do I want? I want to. Let's build metallurgy because I need to start uh, doing steel and, and gold. Oh, Alright, so this priest is happy. Everyone happy. Taverns are full. Oh no, I don't have any more food. Fuck, I'm running out of food. Uh, come on, more fishermen. Let me build more fishermen. That's my only source of food right now. I mean, uh, fisherman's hunt. Let me build one and two, and I'm gonna train two fishermen. This is why I like keeping like teenager on train to train them based on the need, not based on what they like. Whatever people tell you, do what you like. Don't believe them. You have to do what you need. <laughs> nah, I'm just joking. Do what you like. I did what I like, which is software development. And everyone, when I did my software development, software wasn't still a thing. It was back in 2004. And everyone was saying, no, software doesn't get, get you a job and whatever. Do civil engineering, do doctors. But I stuck to it. And now uh, it's the most demanded job ever. And this is why I'm able to afford this and make videos and play games. So, yeah. Do what you like and things will work out sometimes. Okay, I think uh, let's me see, right? I forgot I put some wheelbarrows to be done. So those are my carriers. I will start uh, telling them to get wheelbarrows. Go get your wheelbarrow. Go get your wheelbarrow. Go get your wheelbarrow. Go get... No. Go get... Oh, okay, I need a bit more wheelbarrows. Uh, I think I'm gonna uh, build a witch doctor hut because I need the... Uh, your temple are overcrowded. Okay, let me see. Whoa, lo, lo. Whoa, lo, lo. They go to pray. And also, by the way, only the women go to pray. So, yeah. <laughs> let me build the second temple so they don't get overcrowded. I know, I know some people's OCD will trigger with my base management, but this is just the first mission. I won't care about base management. I'll just care about getting my resources. Alright, so I don't need really any more wheelbarrows here. So I let this one finish. And then switch back to board. Come on, finish. Finish, 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 finish. Okay, so things are clearing up right here. I will open up this. The fog of this is the only annoying thing is that you to open the fog of four, you have to go clear things up by order of priority, like set the priority for them. So the grace of the god has increased because I prayed for them. Let me train a priest. And I need more lumber jacks. Okay, I found an ore vein, so this is great. I will put a quarry on top of it. What do I need for a quarry? I need steel for a quarry. Ah, quarry, no, it's for stones. Uh, come on, where's my metallurgy? I need metallurgy to build, to harvest an ore vein. Uh, okay, what else do I have? So two children are not to be trained. I will train two carriers. I need more carriers. Let's build the dwelling right here. Okay. Science is done. Awesome. So what do I need now? I will need mining. Oh, I, I should have researched mining before metallurgy. Because I have a ore mine. And here's my ore mine. So let's give it a priority to start getting uh, iron. And with iron, what I can do, I can build forge. Let's build here in my industrial. I will build two forge. 
to start doing I uh, to start getting the iron I need and finally I will need gold now how I will get gold I still have no idea uh, can I build boats right, let me take a look at my resources okay I have 124 fish which is great I don't need any more water I'm running low on water so let's build I can build a water pump more but, uh, but I still haven't researched it Oh, I need a witch doctor. Let me get a witch doctor. Witch doctor. It's a witch doctor in order to do medicine because in this game it's all, you know, temples and witch doctors and all those stuff. So, how am I going to get gold? I need to go to another island. I need to explore this island. But how? I have no idea. Uh, let me do something. Uh, hmm. How do you get gold? I need a gold mine. I don't have a gold mine. I need to cross the ocean. Can they cross the ocean without a boat? I forgot how to build a boat. 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 Let's see. Let's give priority to this tree and see if someone go and get it. And let's speed things up. Uh, anyone doesn't have a wheelbarrow? Let's see my carriers. Yes, this carrier. Wheelbarrow. Get your wheelbarrow. Get your wheelbarrow. Get your wheelbarrow. Okay. All my carriers now have wheelbarrows. I'll keep this on wheelbarrows for a bit while. <coughs> okay, this. Only, I only need one on the wheelbarrow, so this one will go back to boards. Uh, Alright. I don't know how to get this tree. Check uh, if there is anything. Building. Temple, market, dwelling. How's my happiness going? Everyone is super happy. Uh, even though I'm not giving them like uh, <laughs> their luxury stuff. Okay, I will need more housing. I will destroy two houses and build two small houses and build large ones instead. Wedding for families to save on space and on buildings. And what is this? Okay, I will need a forge, so I will need to train a smith, actually two smiths, for my two forges, but for forging I will need iron and wood, now iron I can get it from this quarry, quarry. and my carriers will go as you see here, and they will get the iron from the quarry, uh, alright, so everything is good so far. This is the night. You are ready to enter a new era? No, not now. Everything is ready here. I have a master scientist, but he required four. I don't want four. Too much, too expensive right now. Because I can't pay gold. I can't sustain myself a lot. Let me see. I still have enough mushroom juice. Yes. My carpentries are going. Food is going well, water is not good. I let me research a water pump to get more water. Uh, more people are ready for school. It's fine, let me see my Alright. Uh, my citizenships. Smith 14 teenagers. 14 teenagers, damn, that's a lot. Maybe I should get what am I short on? I'm short on... Maybe I need a bit more lumber. Oh, my rock and lumber are full. So I will need to build some warehouse. Which means I need to research it. Which is fine for now. So apparently they can't reach the spawn tree. Hmm, what do I need? I need something from here. 
Let me see the, my research well, after this one is done. Let's get our uh, iron production going. My lumber production is going. Let's put it all on boards. Alright, calm. My peons. Temples are happy. This one is happy. I had a fine meal. All is good. I can sit back a bit and relax while they, they do their thing. I'm worried about my overpopulation. I'm taking way too much time. But, okay, water pump is ready. So I can start building it. Let's build a pump which gives me more water than a normal pump. Police, police, uh, I might need to build a police station because I will have lots of teenagers and they might go to the criminal, but no, not now. Uh, quarry mining. Yeah, I, I need warehouses. Uh, how am I going to get gold? Hmm. weird I don't know how to cross islands is there any building I should be building for it what is this gold mine. I have a gold mine I don't know where to I don't have a gold okay warehouse is done Pastry, ranching, sausages, no. Wharf. Ah, okay, this is it, the wharf. Right, right, I forgot. I should have built it way earlier. It's fine, it's fine. You learn. The children, let's build two carriers. We don't have enough carrier, especially that now the carrier, we have to cross the ocean to get them. So I'll build four carriers. This is creating medicine. My water pump is water pumping, 55 per day, perfect. I need uh, to build two warehouses since my town hall is getting full. So let's build them somewhere close. One here and one here. This warehouse will supply all my production line. I know it's a mess for now, but yeah, as I said, it's a first game, so... Oh, I, there's a prince now. I didn't know that. So there's a king, nor king, and a prince. Nice, nice. Okay, my resources are looking pretty well. My fish is completely full. I'm, I'm like butchering all the fish in the sea. My boards, rock, and wood are great. Water is getting great because of the pump. Fruit is fine. They don't have iron ore. Steel is getting pretty cool. So all I'm missing is gold. So let me build a wharf as soon as this is finished. I will do some trading. I will trade, uh, let's say, board. No, not board, wait. I want mushroom, mushroom juice. Wait, keep fucking up. I want mushroom juice here and I want boards here. So let's see. Or, a, or let's do a wheelbarrow. Nah. Some iron. For. I wanna tray iron for mushroom juice. So let's do. Uh, 10 mushroom juice. That will keep us going for 5 days with science. Inn is too overcrowded. So we need to build more inns. This is my inn school. In. This is my inn. Let's be, I have an inn here in this area, two inns in this area, one in here, one in here. Let's build an inn here. Let's allow my workers, my carpenters and metal, uh, like stone masons and the forge, what is called the, the smith, to go check it. Awesome. So my uh, the work is done. I will build. 
let's build the police station and build the wharf where's my wharf enter here's my wharf so wharf here i will do build two wharfs one here and one here so they can go explore let's give them some high priority here's my wharf it's being built I need boats so my carrier so I can start exploring the other area here. Okay, so now I have untrained person. Is bored out of his mind. Untrained person might turn criminal or something else. But let's train them as two carriers. Which is fine, I'm overpopulated already, so that sucks. Your temples are overcrowded. I need more temples. Okay, I can't build anymore. So what I'm gonna do... I'm gonna demolish two houses, two normal dwellings to build one instead. And I can upgrade my wells. So instead of two wells, I can have one pump. So demolish this. Demolish this. Build one dwelling instead. And... Build one pump. Instead of this well right here and this well right here all right i have my war so i need to start building my cargo boats come on high priority guys high priority i need more cargo boats for exploration this one is done yet okay my cargo boat police station is done so i'm i now can build a dwelling for six family which will save a lot of space so I'm gonna build also a police station in case any criminals appear and train a policeman. This guy doesn't have a house, so let's build him a dwelling. Alright, my time is going well. Oh, I need a temple also. Yeah. I don't want to go to the next stage in this mission because they will start requiring a lot of luxury resources and shit will get pretty hard, difficult. So yeah, let's just stay on one. Okay, so now where's my wharf? Production stopped, why is it stopped? Okay, keep going, come on. Now there is one cargo boat and I will allow them to get gatherers. You see here, they only usually allow uh, like four men and, and knights, but I'll allow gathering so they, my, the women that will go gather fruit can go explore and open the, 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 the entire, like the map. But I will need a lot of boats because one boat is not enough to be like Right now, this woman will wait a lot before a boat will come pick her up because I'm low on boats. So yeah, you see this boat, cargo boat is going way far. Oh yes, I found a gold vein. Nice, so let's... I need, I need space, hold on. I need space, what can I do? demolish? Let's demolish. Hmm. Let's demolish. All right. I will wait for my dwelling to be done and then start building also I need to train a landlord for this tavern and this is my police station my policeman is home is alert all right so let's uh, are my dwelling six family complete yes almost so what we'll do we'll demolish okay let's demolish one not now not now after the night i don't want to demolish it when they go to sleep so my plan is to demolish three dwellings and three and uh, build like two instead three uh, four family dwellings and build two six family dwellings if that made sense and that will allow me to build one more building and that building will be my gold quarry so i can start getting gold asap so come on i need more a lot more 
uh, cargo boats so I built around I need around 20 cargo boats okay this is complete so I demolish this house this house and this house and build instead two dwelling level six one two and build a high priority gold quarry right here uh, or mine uh, gold mine where's my gold gold mine here it is this is high priority come on come get it and this is very similar to oxygen not included in some stuff and to factorio in some stuff like to me it's the root of all colony simulation and and uh, management and like some strategy so yeah okay i will stop what i will do is okay my foreman is here nice my carrier is here why don't you have a wheelbarrow done yes silly goose head all on no one has wheelbarrows what the hell yes silly goose head okay so there are a lot of women that are getting trapped because not many boats uh, look at how many are waiting to get picked up so what I'm gonna do yeah let's do more work more. where are my cargo boats here they are I will allow gathering for this one and oh bandit boat damn it there are bandits I didn't know there will there would be bandits well, that's fine. I just want to finish this gold mine so I can finish my my mission. Because if you look at the missions, I already have more than 100 board, more than 100 seal. I just need 10 times gold. And for the gold, I need to build a gold quarry, a gold, a gold forge, I think. I don't know what it's called. Let me demolish this dwelling two family because it's completely useless and this dwelling four family and build instead a dwelling six family and a what do I need? How do you do gold? Do you just pick them up? Yeah, I think so. Okay, this is gold mine. I need a higher priority in order to beat to get beat the game. I think I done everything I need in this game. So I just let it play out. I have more than enough iron. I have more than enough gold, and I just need ten gold. So this quarry will give me gold, and uh, my my carriers will come pick it up. Let's build a lot more carriers so I speed things up. Let's train a lot more carriers. Let's see my happiness. Oh, they are unhappy. Why are you unhappy? It didn't get anything to eat or drink okay so things are going to hell now because i need to manage a lot of more things but i didn't focus on it because i just wanted to get my gold up okay there's two units here so come on i need someone to come pick them up i already have two gold i need eight more so come on go high priority nice 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 i'm gonna finish this first mission Come on, go get gold. Go get gold. Yeah. And I hope you enjoy this type of games. Like, I'm gonna be playing a lot of old games. This is the first one. Um, they won't all be a colony simulation. There will be a lot of strategy, a lot. I have a lot of things planned, so that's cool. Come on, I have four gold. Olomp is delivering two more gold. I have lots of people with all houses, so let's build some dwellings. Come on, how many gold I have? Four, six. I have six gold, eight gold. One more, one more, one more, one more delivery. All right, Thor, it's all up to you. He's carrying two gold. His wife is called Mlumpa. Also, another thing I like in this game is that the names are unique. And uh, it's one of the best name generation game. Like I've seen modern game trying to generate name, but at the end, after a lot of people, they will get repetitive. But look, 
look how many people I have and they all have unique names and congratulations I finished my mission I got 100 board 100 steel and 10 gold so that's awesome I finished it you can see here the score I have total score building build citizen blah 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 and high score next time I'm gonna start this mission which is the juice and it looks like I need to produce 200 bottles of mushroom juice cool 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 pretty awesome game i hope you uh, enjoyed it because i sure as hell did i love this game i will be playing it not regularly but from time to time and recording it and this is mr pimmons look how sad he is when you want to quit and why is out